Greetings, programs. I'm Young Napoleon, and I want to welcome you to the start of my next Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Play series. This is episode one, obviously, with no mods and all of the DLC, including the latest by Blood Alone. I was considering a Roman, a Romanov restoration run for this series, but there's a bug in the game right now that sets all of Putin's par excuse me, uh, Stalin's paranoia reduction events to zero. So it's a little more difficult than usual to prep for the revolution. It looks like that's going to be fixed in the upcoming patch. But in the meantime, I thought I'd bring y'all a Holy Roman Empire run. So we will be starting off as Germany. Iron Man mode off because as always, I like myself. And uh, historical AI focuses off because as always, if I'm going to be a historical, might as well let the AI off the leash, right? <clears throat> so without any further ado, let's hit start and get into this bad boy. <clears throat> now, there's a couple ways of going about doing this. Uh, I watched a Bitter Steel video, which I'll uh, include a link for in the doobly-doo. Let me make sure to make a note of that. Include Bitter Steel. Um, not sure how to spell steel, which way he spells it. Anyways, there uh, he plays a video that base is based off of another guy's guide that he's included a link for so it's a chain of a chain of a you know whatever uh and that involves i'm not going to say it's uh cheesy it's just it's exploiting the ai a little bit um oh i just tried to go down with the s key i've been playing a lot of uh victoria 3 and the wasd keys move the map there and they don't in this game i've been spoiled uh at any rate the um the, the, the strategy that he employs involves uh, a little bit of exploitation of the AI. He starts out, like there's one strategy where he did prior to this, where you like you go, you go after Yugoslavia and it fires off uh, Czechoslovakia and France, I think. It's all about taking the territory that you need. But in his newer strategy, he goes after Poland first, uh, and then to win the German Civil War... Uh, he deletes all of his units. And that's... I mean, I realize the game lets you do that. It's a plausible... I mean, it's a way to play. Oh, and he also, like, lend leases everything to Spain and then takes it all back to get his, his equipment back and everything. And, you know, it's a legitimate play to way, a, a way to play. I'm not going... I'm not trying to diss um, someone who's far better at the game than I am. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, I, I don't like to, to, to go after exploits like that. So what we're going to do instead is we're just going to go... We're going to go straight for opposing Hitler. The um, We've got to go down this side over here. We've got to revive the Kaiserreich and try and uh, return get the, the Kaiser returned, except not. Uh, so we're going to start off with opposing Hitler. And uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and get our... Technology set. We're going to go with some of the standards here. The production. Just some of the basics that you always want to start the game out with. Or at least the ones that I like to start the game out with. Uh, we've got some free civilian factories. So we're going to start that off by... I think maxing out some factories here. And then because I know we'll start the, the, the split is like somewhere around in here. Uh, so we'll start off with that. And then let's see. We've got enough guns, support equipment and artillery. Oh let's let's look at our our units here. I don't I haven't played like a lot of people have played Germany so much that they know right off the bat what they start off with. But I don't. Infantry, we got a little bit of support and a little bit of artillery. Okay. And our Panzer Division is some light tanks and some motorized. Okay, so we're going to want to make sure that we've got... How many do we have to spare here? Eight. So let's do what... Support equipment always... Well, let's just start with four. So that's... Got four left. There we 
go. Uh, let's get this base. Let's get some of these airframes. We're going to want them to get up to, up to snuff. Uh, let's see. We've already got progress on all of these, so we're going to... I do... I like to play the naval game. I know it's kind of... Oh my gosh, are you really gonna... That's annoying. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and... Uh, we've got everything set to one. We're gonna let them kind of roll into each other. I don't think I have any spare... But yeah, this is just this is something I picked up from Italy's my Italy playthroughs, and I, I realized the um, the last game I played of Hearts of Iron Four was a a Roman run, and now this one is a Roman run of a different sort. But it is what it is. I enjoy it. So uh, yeah, let's see: February of thirty six, March, March, April, May, April. So now we're into July of 39, 41, 42, and that there. Okay. Okay, so we're all set on the factories. We're missing equipment production. What are we missing? Transport plane and naval bomber. That's fine. No divisions and basic training. That's fine. Outdated equipment. Type 2 class and Zerstar 1934 class. That's fine. Unassigned divisions. My cats will not leave me alone this morning. I had to restart this episode like three times because Pippin kept trying to jump up here and now Lucy is wandering around under my desk. Uh, let's see. So I don't think it's terribly... Important. We're going to go ahead and unpause at least let a little bit of time get kicking. Uh, let's see. We've got decisions available. We're not going to mess with any of this stuff. We're saving up our political power. Uh, there's one important, very important uh, decision that we're going to that we're going to work towards, which is the air safety. I don't see it in here now, so I don't know how much it is. And then there's a few other decisions that we're going to need to have to take uh, after we get the alliance with the shade. Uh, we're going to go ahead. And uh, let's go ahead and set everybody. Right, awesome. That's what we got. We've got. Come on. We've got a motorized division. We'll set them up over here. And then I think we've got some cavalry. No, it's just a mountaineer. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and the strategy that I like to take uh, is to employ most of like my good troops. I like to employ them not front line. Uh, we're going to do first of all, we're going to set them up to a balanced cohesion. Fallback line. I like to set them up right here around Frankfurt. I like to set them up here so that uh, when the Civil War happens, and I can't remember where the exact line is, but I like to try and plow through here, cut this portion of their army off, and then and then kind of work my way up through two fronts. I'll set the the El Chipo troops that I get to defend this line, and I'll set the um, the regulars that stay with me to to this one, so that they can push through quick. Uh, what's planes? F three? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna set all of my planes. Where's a good airport to send them to? I think I'll get to keep. Will I get to keep this one? I don't know how many are there. We'll send them all to 
Württemberg. For now, I don't think... Um, I know I'm over a little bit. I'm pretty sure I will lose some of those once the Civil War kicks off. So I'm not terribly concerned about unassigned divisions. Oh. Send you over here. What do we got? Again, uh, I'll lose. I don't really care about the number right now. That's everybody. Okay. Uh, and we're definitely... We're going to send these guys over here to Frankfurt. Yeah, crank the speed back up to three. fascist or communist yeah so we'll we got to we've really got to make sure we hit the extensive conscription because once we um are through with hitler we won't be fascist or communist so we're not going to be able to take extensive conscription and then war economy at some point Uh, yeah, okay, so this is basically all of the prep we need to do. We're going to crank the speed up a little bit. So that maybe we can kick this civil war off before Italy moves. Okay, Italy's doing their thing. Before the end of this uh, video. hand on the slowdown trigger. Eight. Sixty-nine. Up to three. And pause. Okay, national focus complete. Oppose Hitler. Purge this Nazi scum from our lands. Okay, so now there's Von Mackensen. Pick our next focus here. I wonder... All right. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go down any of the, the usual focuses to get... Well, am I? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's going to be cut off. Okay. All right, so we can't secure the new state because we haven't won the new state yet. So with that in mind, we are going to... Do I want to go for the four-year plan or army innovations? Uh, let's see. W. von Brock, Brockisch, advanced division speed, army experience. That could be. Does um does Rommel still with me? I think Rommel stays. Yes, Rommel is there. And then let's assign our best infantry general, von Manstein, attack and planning. Trickster, Engineer, 3444, 3453. Three. He's a Panzer leader. I think we'll go with von Manstein. I like the extra logistics here. And then uh, let's give them a good, let's see, Max Entrenchment, Urban Assault Specialist, Defensive Doctrine. Yeah, this guy's good. We'll go with Von Runstead. Him there. Okay. Uh, I realize I haven't picked the focus yet. 
Let's go ahead and do that with the army innovations. Now. You. Set you up. We've got 12 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let them hold. Um, oops. Why are you not? Okay. Control click. Should assign those units to the. Oh, because they already had the. Right, the. Okay, it looks like I guessed pretty good on the. Um, that front line that I gave them. So, hooray for me. Uh, and then let's see. We've got, we should have a whole bunch here that are Lundsturm Regiment. These guys are not all that great. Yeah. I don't think I can change them either, can I? Yeah, no edit, just view. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's see, all the Landsturm Regiments, we will put them in their own... In their own army? The other uh, part of that strategy that involves taking Poland first uh, basically creates a second front for the German Reich. So a lot of their troops, about half of them, will peel off to go man that front and start taking territory there, which allows you much easier access to come into uh, Berlin. Uh, and again, it's a it's a valid strategy if that's the route you want to, to go. Uh, it's not my not my style. He's Who's our best defensive general? He's cautious. Attack and planning, promotion cost, panzer leader, reconnaissance. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go with Gud Guderi Guderian. I'm sorry, y'all. I I'm about as good at pronouncing German names as I am Italian names. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's not going to be all that great. We're going to set them up to a balanced cohesion. We're going to give them a front line. Oops, I just tried to move up the map with the W key again. I need to. Break that habit. All right. Okay. And then with Rommel, I just tried it again. Okay, with Rommel sitting here in Frankfurt, we are going to give him a front line of Frankfurt. Just so we can start building up that bonus. And we're going to try and push him through right along this border real quick if we can help it. No turning back now. Uh, modified government. We are going to go to extensive conscription while we've got the chance. Uh, air wings, right, right. Okay, so yeah, you can see we're down to a uh, less than the the amount now. Let's go ahead and four seventy. We'll combine these guys. Where's the combine button? Merge air wings. Strength. See, there are the rest of these the same. I think so. Merge you guys. Oops. I 
Put them into a full strength wing. Or a fuller strength. I don't think I have any more of them. But you can join you. Why are they not? HS123? HE51. Okay. All right, so the oil supply is low. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we'll give you air superiority here in Western Germany. I want. I really want to push through. Uh, just to give them a little bit, though. Ah, just tried to move the map again. Dad, gummit, this is going to get annoying. Okay, so you can go up to. Where's the airport here? There. What are these guys good at? They are close air support. Don't want to mess up too much of my land, so we'll just go with the close air support. Stick them here in Western Germany. Same thing. Push through fast, I think. I give them a little bit of, of defense here. See, these guys are just... Oh, those are my, my transport planes. Okay. You guys are... What are you? Just close air support. And you are what? You're, you're naval bombers. Okay. So that's fine. We don't care about you. Okay, back to the army, and uh, we've gone over a little bit, so I think this is where we're going to call it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed that as much as I have. If you have, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. As always, I would take it as a kindness. And always remember, sometimes you win, and sometimes you learn. I'll see you next time, guys, where we prosecute this civil war with much vigor.